Um, so as you know, STEM is super popular. That's why all of us offer STEM majors, right? So does that mean all STEM majors carry the same weight? Maybe, maybe not. That's why you need to do research. So here at Wentworth, um, what really make us stand out is that STEM is what we do and the only thing that we do. So we truly take it to the next level. So located, we're located in the heart of Boston, where nationally ranked universities specialize degree programs in STEM, right? Science, technology, architecture, biological engineering, you name it. So we are ranked by US News and World Report number 33 in the entire US for the best engineering programs as well. We're not big, we're mid-sized school, not too big, not too small. So very comfortable place for all of our students, right? So Wentworth sometimes can feel like a big school because we have so much to offer, so many clubs and so many organizations, lots of fun things, events for you to do happening here, both within Wentworth as well as in Boston. But also at the same time, our students are able to form close relationships with our faculty member, with their professors because our awesome 18 to one faculty student ratio. And then in terms of application, we are on both come application. We also have our own Wentworth portal. And then we do rolling admissions. If there are any senior here in the group, make sure if you're still thinking about applying to us, I believe we, our application portals for all three of schools are still open. And then in terms of application requirements, um, it's very straightforward, like I mentioned earlier. So basically your application form, an essay, a letter of recommendation, your high school transcripts and English language proficiency. After that, usually it's a quick turnaround time for us to release the decision. Um, and we offer merit-based scholarships to all of our international students. Um, so it's up to $17,000, which is close to half of our tuition. Up to you. Awesome, thank you, Pan. Alrighty, and here I am with Beloit College in the middle here. Um, and yeah, so Wentworth is a private specialty school. We are a private liberal arts college. So um, sort of a different type of category. I think all liberal arts schools are private, although some other schools sort of adopt a liberal arts model. Um, but yeah, so you'd also be studying at a private institution. Um, Beloit, we're the smallest college on this, on this um, slide here. So we have uh, just over 1,200 students. So that's something you'll often find in the liberal arts. We tend to be really small colleges, um, kind of on purpose. I mean, Beloit, we want to keep our classes small. We have an um, average class size of 15, but a 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Um, and that's like Pan was saying, that's one way that we really add value to the education, um, especially at the undergrad level. We feel that by emphasizing time and access and, and attention from faculty, um, that that is a way that you can really increase the value of your education. Um, and so we're located in Wisconsin, about a two hours northwest of Chicago. Um, and Chicago is the third largest city in the US, one of the major airports. So we're close to like a big city, sort of Boston sized, but for students who are looking um, to be in a kind of a little slower pace of life, maybe a smaller American city, um, who just kind of want to focus more on life on campus, we're a really great option for that. Um, so for application requirements, ours are pretty standard as well, like Wentworth. Um, we are on Common App, and then we also have our own Beloit College app, but Common App is so much easier. <laughs> I just recommend you guys use that one. Um, we have no fee for applying to Beloit, and we have just extended our deadline to March 1st. Um, so again, if there are seniors who are like, all right, okay, I'm I think I'd like to apply for fall, we'd love to still read your materials, um, even after March 1st, honestly. Um, we also require a teacher recommendation. We care a lot about what your teachers say about you, about what kind of student you are. We do require proof of English proficiency. Um, and that's also a requirement to get an I-20, you know, to be here as an F-1 student. You have to be able to demonstrate that you meet all requirements um, to be an F-1 student. And one of those is English proficiency. Um, but all of us schools have different ways that you can demonstrate that to us. Um, so we can connect with you later about that. Um, and then Beloit also does require a declaration of finances. So we just need to know what kind of contribution the family is able to make every year. Um, and then with that information, um, we will review you for admission. 
for scholarship and for need-based aid at the same time. Um, and so Beloit awards very uh, generous merit scholarships up to $36,000 per year, which is over half of the total cost of attendance. Um, and then we do offer some need-based aid um, to, yeah, based on demonstrated need. And again, all of those decisions are made at the point of admission or like a week thereafter. Um, all right, over to Anuksha. Thanks, Alex. So Portland State University, I guess, out of the out of the three of us, we're the largest university represented here. Um, we are a public research university, but we're also an urban university. So we're right in the heart of downtown Portland. We're on the West Coast. We're sandwiched between California and Washington. We're about three hours away from Seattle, Washington. Um, our undergraduate population is 20,000 in total. We have about 26,000 students with um, about um, 1,200 students, international students represented from about 80 plus countries. So we're a very diverse university. As far as our application process goes for where threshold based um, admissions, where all we look at is your academics. So for admissions, we don't need letters of recommendation or SATs or, um, you know, um, personal statements. All that we need is um, the application. We're not part of the um, common app. We have our own application. Um, we need um, the application. There's an application fee and then your academic work. Um, we are also um, on rolling admissions, so you can apply for any of the terms that we have. We are a quarter system, so we have four quarters, um, fall, winter, spring, and summer. And right now, we are still accepting um, applicants for fall 2021. So if you're interested in coming to the Pacific Northwest, um, you, the application is still open. Um, we do have scholarships. So um, the $10,000 is a merit-based scholarship that um, students receive upon admissions. We do have other scholarships as well that you can stack, but those um, come, you know, those you can apply for once you're already at Portland State. Mm 